Hi everybody, welcome to the Academy for Lifelong Learning's 2020 annual meeting. Russ Carlson, the ALL board chair, is going to kick off our meeting. Russ? Thank you, Shanna, and hello everyone. I'm Russ Carlson, chair of the board of directors, and on behalf of the board, I'd like to welcome you to our annual membership meeting from our virtual board meeting room. It's good to be with you and thank you for joining us. It goes without saying we wish we were all in the dome room together so we could share lunch, stories, and do our annual reunion. However, since we're unable to do that this year, we want to provide you with a brief state of the Academy and an opportunity to vote for our new nominees for the Board of Directors. Here is our agenda for the day. We're going to start with recognition because we have so many great people we want to recognize. We'll give a brief slideshow on the state of the Academy, and then we'll give you some information about voting for the, both uh, the new members and the bylaws and information about our forthcoming survey. So here we go. Recognitions. Well, look at this group. Shanna and Mary are off to the right. Shanna is just at both of these individuals. Shanna couldn't do without you. We couldn't do without you. You're just so accessible and brilliant and insightful when you're there at the board meetings with us. And Mary, so graceful and resourceful on the phone, talking to everybody about their registration challenges and the and Jenny and the other folks that are in that group. We just want to salute you and thank you so much for all you do. We know you help us with so many things, well, in respect to financial, budgeting, marketing, registration, general support and the like, I could go on and on, but thank you all for that and all that you do. Our board members, here we are. We've been together for two years now and it's been a great team. You can see that Marilyn is the vice chair, Donna is our secretary, thank God for Donna. And we uh, expect to see her for, for three more years doing the same kind of outstanding work that she does. And then we see that uh, the rest of these folks are names you'll probably recognize. We'll talk about them in the future. Many of them are either instructors or also instructors. They wear different hats, the subcommittee or curricular committee or excursion committee members. They uh, do so many things and bring so many different perspectives and a high level of expertise to the team that it has really shown up in a variety of ways on behalf of the community. So just uh, want to, Normally, we'd have you all stand up when we called your name, but that's not going to be possible this time. So let's imagine that you're standing up and we're giving you one big round of applause. So thank you, team. And especially to the two outgoing members, Marlene Harlan, who is a senior director at Western for the outreach division. And Marilyn Shearer has been a long-term participant with uh, AOL and will continue working on the curricula committee. Both of you have been delightful and your competency, your perspective, your, your intelligence has been uh, just shined in the room whenever we meet. So thank you and good luck. And we'll be talking to you each in different capacities in the future. So thank you. And you will, by the way, be getting a gift certificate, our traditional village book gift certificate. We have a curricular committee chaired by Adam Moles. Boy, has he taken this to the new level. Uh, Adam, thank you so much for your contribution to the, the, the whole program and for your members, uh, Jan Rellin, Susan Rhodes, Marilyn Shear, Lori Jump, Kay Walsburn, Mishu Anakita, Linda Wolf, June Hopkins. You can recognize some of these names. They're often uh, uh, Kay and Mishu, a couple of our most popular instructors, June also. Uh, Marilyn, uh, of course, we've talked about her, has been a longtime contributor to ALL and Susan Rhodes, who uh, likewise, and Lori, all of you have just been great, and we do thank you for really doing a, a, a heck of a job in bringing in instructors, creative ideas, and raising the bar for ALL. Our next committee is also a uh, top rate. It's the excursion committee. We all get on the bus, or a lot of us do, a couple times a year, maybe more. And Monica's helped lead that, and she's a board member, so she communicates uh, as a liaison to the committee and back. 
she's teamed up with Jeff Eastman, Jan Cottrell, John Davis, and Renee Lowry. And you folks have done a great job. And though we can't be on the bus in the fall, we know that you have some exciting excursions lined up for us in the future. And we look forward to being on the road again with you all. So thank you for your good work. This is a new committee, the Outreach Committee, chaired by Tim Surratt. Tim and Marlene and Bill Raddick, Susan Reese, Catherine Reardon have just done a great job in helping us expand our, our vision for marketing and reaching out to the community. They've helped us redesign the seasonal catalogs. They've helped us, well, they created a new brochure, foldable brochure for easier distribution. They're exploring additional marketing venues and locations and they're providing analytics for our demographics so we can improve our name recognition and, and uh, outreach. So you all have uh, done a terrific job and the numbers uh, are, are showing up as a result of your hard work. So thank you for your expertise and insights and hard work. And then finally, uh, not finally, but also our interest group facilitators. What a great contribution to ALL, no charge. Mishu has been has a popular following in her world affairs forums. Patty Williams and Mike have recently created the contemporary readings and history uh, uh, interest groups, and they they've really just taken they all to a new level. And we just really appreciate you for your and your interesting and competent and and fun uh, participation and and. Uh, we look forward to hearing more from you. So thank you again. And finally, to all the volunteers that help us offline, unspoken, maybe they'll help give us a hand in a class or some kind of forum, but there's so many people in our community that help us. And if we can't uh, name you, sometimes we just wanna shout out and say to you, thanks so much for being there for us. Now we're gonna move on to the State of the Academy and start with the mission statement. We, it was recently revised as a result of the informational forum we conducted and we also had it approved by the membership at the last annual meeting. And one of the things that I notice or I'm reminded of when I read it is that it's a pressure-free environment and I'm also reminded that the instructors I think like that as much as we do. They really um, appreciate and, and I think thrive on being able to be less formal, pressure-free, and engaged with a group of really interesting lifelong learners. Okay, we're gonna move on to the, um, actually what I call the tale, almost the tale of two stories. Fall, you can see, was uh, almost record, well, I don't know if it was record-breaking, but we are really on track with 33 offerings. And uh, heading towards a record year, it was, uh, largely in result of the curricular committee's hard work as well as the outreach and the marketing of the, uh, the um, outreach committee. So it, it was really showing up. And then here we are on hold, but we want you to know that there's a lot of work going into how we can move forward and survey and serve our membership in the fall. And more information will be forthcoming, but we want everybody to know that we're really looking at ways to continue our mission and to serve you. Moving on to the next slide, our registrations illustrate how we were moving toward a record year. The far right-hand column shows how we had 912 registrations. Well, if you double that, there you go. That would be off the chart. So that's exciting because we know we've done a lot of things right. And and we can't wait to get back on, uh, on track again so we can see the results of the hard work that's been put into our programs. And then finally, the fiscal year 2019-20, $45,000 as of April in the fund. The board continually looks at these numbers, make sure that we're solvent, that we're prudent, and that we're serving the community in the, 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 the most effective way we can. And we have some really good people on the board who look in great detail at the numbers and are, we're testing our, our own assumptions all the time. And then finally, 393 members this academic year. 
You know, folks, AOL, as most of you do know, has been in existence for over 20 years and will continue to evolve with the times. We do encourage you to continue providing us with your suggestions and feedback so that we'll be able to serve you. And we want to close by just thanking everybody on behalf of the board to be well and know that we can't wait to see you again in person. So thank you. And I'm now going to turn it over to Shanna to complete this presentation. Shanna. Thank you, Russ. Um, so I am, I am Shanna Johnson. I know many of you. Uh, I'm the administrator for the Academy for Lifelong Learning. And I work for the arm of Western Washington University that provides logistics and infrastructure uh, support for ALL. Um, what many of you may not know is that Russ and I both got involved uh, with ALL around the same time. And I would be remiss to not um, mention him. I, he wasn't part of the recognition slides, and that was, I'm sure, by his own design. But uh, he's been a wonderful board chair, and there hasn't been a day that's gone by um, that it hasn't been very apparent to me how much he cares about ALL. So thank you, Russ. I am, this is the part of the presentation where I like to embarrass you, but thank you very much um, for everything you do for ALL. I think, um, you know, when you do decide to retire, there's going to be some big shoes to fill, that's for sure. Um, so I am now going to move on to the voting portion of our presentation. Obviously, we normally do this in person at the annual meeting, but we've had to adapt our annual meeting to this online format. Russ and I are here with you from our virtual boardroom. Um, the, first, the first item that we need your vote on are our open board positions. So our nomination committee has put forth three nominees. Donna Moore is actually a current board member. She's up for her second term. She was a mathematics professor at Western Washington University, is retired some time ago, and has spent um, her retirement supporting ALL, among other, um, among other organizations in and, and the surrounding area. Donna has been a wonderful board member. Her contributions have been outstanding, and we would really love to see her be nominated or be elected for a second term. And she's willing to do it. So there, we're, we would love to have her back. Um, Susan Reese is, uh, she has retired recently and relocated to Bellingham. Um, she almost immediately got involved with ALL and joined our outreach committee. She's been uh, a, a wonderful uh, contributor on that, on that committee and has kind of helped guide our social media campaign. And we hope that she'll continue to do that. And then, of course, um, serve as a valued board member. So Susan is our second nominee. Um, and she would be up for her first term. And then finally, last but not least, is Jim West. Jim uh, was uh, raised in the Seattle area, spent most of his professional career in Chicago and other cities on the East Coast, um, has found his way back to the Pacific Northwest, and um, is what I like to call a super volunteer. Not only uh, does he support ALL by taking 15 classes a year, um, so many of you probably know Jim from class, uh, but he also volunteers at other organizations around Whatcom County, and we would love to have Jim sit on the board and help um, guide uh, ALL. So he is our third nominee, and he is up for his first term. So uh, we, you know, we'd love to have your vote for Donna, Susan, and Jim. We think they would be wonderful additions to our board. Our sec second item of business are our bylaws, which have been recently edited. Most edits are nominal in nature. For example, uh, outreach and continuing education, the arm of Western that I work for, we used to be called extended education and we were renamed last year. So that language was updated in the bylaws. We've also made some changes with the financial reporting um, specifically the financial reports that Western provides the Board of Directors. 
uh, we are moving to a biannual model, which not only aligns with what Western provides other programs, but it also happens to fit nicely with ALL's um, season, seasonal programming, fall, winter, and then spring, summer. Um, so we ask for your vote in favor of those edits as well. Um, and then finally, I just want to reiterate that obviously we can't, you can't cast your vote in person this year. Uh, we are using a survey. Um, it should be something that many of you are familiar with. We're using a software called SurveyMonkey, which is what we use for evaluating classes and excursions. Um, and although we tell you that you can take this survey at your convenience, uh, we'd really like your your surveys completed by June 4th, um, and that will help um, obviously usher in our new board nominees and then get our bylaws finalized and updated on our website, um, and then help us move forward and decide uh, what fall might look like um, in the current environment. Our, you know, we need to hear from our members to know if you have an appetite for meeting face-to-face -face in the fall, if you're interested in having online classes. So we'd really love to hear from you. And this, this um, annual meeting survey will kind of help collect that type of information for us. And so on that final note, I would just like to echo everything that Russ said, and that is that um, ALL has been around for 20 years. We have weathered other storms, um, we've adapted, we've evolved, we've modernized, and um, we are a sustainable organization and we just really cannot wait to see you in person again at the cruise terminal. We can't wait to get on the bus with you and go down to Seattle or go up to Vancouver. We really do miss everyone and we hope that you're staying well. And thank you for listening to our presentation.